Hey guys, uh, we're going to be looking at the effects of um, the needle on the main jet. And of course we've been told for decades that uh, the needle has no effect on the main jet whatsoever. Uh, you could take the needle out and some books will sit and say if you can get the engine in and you take the needle out you can you can tune it wide open throttle with the main jet and then thereafter you're sorted the main jet is sacrosanct and you change everything else. You can make your own decisions when you've when you've seen actually you know with your own eyes uh, we're going to be um, going to be looking at this with a very common um, carburetor it's Del Auto and um, it's a PH BN16 there it is look this is genuine Del, Del Auto carburetor okay I'm not tuning on this one as it happens um, the needle that we're going to be uh, looking at uh, is a very common needle. It's the A13. It's uh, two millimeter to 1.79. It's like pretty. Um, it's pretty parallel. Um, in fact, as we can see, that two millimeter to 1.8, you could say. Okay. So if that is stuck into the atomizer. Um, it's going to make a pretty big obstruction because um, the atomizer is, um, you can see that down there, let me just change the uh, focus. And there she blows and there's a tiny ridge at the end. Okay. And um, a 2.5 drill won't uh, go in that. You know, I tried it. 2.5 doesn't go in. You know, and um, there she goes. Doesn't go in at all. Obviously, a two milli drill goes in, but it's quite slappy. So we know that the atomizer um, major diameter is around 2.35. And um, the uh, inner diameter of the atomizer, the smaller diameter where there's that ridge, is probably um, 2 1, 2 1 5, something like that. So it's a very tiny ridge. So um, anything that's stuck in that atomizer is going to create a major, major blockage. So let's just, let's just see if, if it does. And you can then judge as to what extent a lump of metal, effectively 1.8, 1.79 millimeters in diameter, does. I'm just going to stick the uh, the needle down with a bit of blue tack. And did I say? No, I didn't say. Um, to give it its best chance, to give the main jet guys the best chance. Okay, I've lifted the needle to its absolute maximum. You can't lift this needle anymore. Okay, there we are. The circlet is right at the bottom, so the needle as it is, is as high as it goes, and very few people will be running with the needle that high. So if it's that high, it you know it's got its best chance of not being in the. Um, in the atomizer okay because normally you'd have it like a three or two two is good setting usually okay let me stick it down with blue tack okay it's, it's stuck and there it is can't get any higher let's bung it in and let's just see. Okay, so uh, we can see it's not there, and we can see how far it stuck out. Okay, let me just uh, adjust the focus a touch. Okay, you can see there it's not in. 
and how far it stuck out is the slider. Okay, so we push it in, and that's it, it's in. All right, and the slider isn't even all the way home, and the main jet is in. So already 1.79 millimeters is in the frigging atomizer, and we're not even fully home. Okay, so let's just push it home. And we need to go just touch more, touch more. And we're now oh, just there, about well, just, just there. And there's nothing showing. Okay, there's nothing showing of the slider. All right, you can see how far we've gone in, how far the needle's gone in from where the slide was stuck out of the casting now how far it's gone in about four millimeters something like that that's how far the needle is in the atomizer um, at its absolutely highest position now if we had that notch even higher at like three or two you know, and typically, typically we're tuning around three and and two or four, three and two. It's even further in. You know, that's into that's into the atomizer fully now. How much of a gap is left to get the fuel out with like uh, you know, one point eight millimeter diameter of metal stuck in the atomizer? Um, as compared to, I'm just picking up the the, sh the sharpest one, and this is going to be, what is this, the A02? Yes, of course. Here's the A02. It's a bloody needle. Okay. And stab yourself with that. 0 0.6 millimeters. Right now, so imagine that all the way in the um, atomizer, all the way in the atomizer, just like the 1.79. You know, I mean, in fact, it's so far in, it's going to be like 1.8, 1.812. You know, it's it's a good it's a good way in, and that you know that needle in. And what's the difference between the amount of fuel that can squeeze past the, 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 the needle with that and that? It's enormous. So you can, you know, you can judge for yourself, really. You know, but I think the, the, the case is proven, you know, that if you um, put in um, a pointed needle into that uh, atomizer, um, more fuel is going to get past when you're at wide open throw. Absolutely, a substantial amount of of, of fuel can um, can get past over the 1.79, and um, and that's why uh, it changes um, the main jet. Okay, QED, I reckon. What do you think? Okay, we'll have a look at uh, other things later. All right, bye for now.